Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I wanted to film the films that I've been wearing recently but before I jump into this video as always please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay so honestly I've not been wearing a lot of perfume in the month of December in mid-January but the last like two weeks I've been like wearing a lot of perfume again so I wanted to share them with you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump right in with the first one, which is from Armani, which is honestly one of my favorite perfume uh, designer brands when it comes to like perfumes. And this one is Terra de Gioia. And as you can see right here, and I'm using a different light today. I don't know how it's gonna look. Um, I hope it doesn't look too bad. It's like a clip-on light. Uh, it looks really good on like TikToks and stuff. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, this one is Terra de Gioia by um, Giorgio Armani. And this one is actually a really nice summer scent. But um, I, to me, this is a very cozy scent. It has almond in there. And it's just a very warm, inviting scent. Uh, let me see if I can find the notes for you guys. So it's a sweet floral amber perfume where you have up your pear, mandarin, orange, bergamot, almond blossom, jasmine, amberwood, and musk. You don't really get a lot of musk in there, but it's just, like I said, a really warm, cozy almond perfume. If you like almond uh, in perfumes, uh, definitely recommend that. Sorry, I see this huge airplane just passing right there. And yeah, I really like it. And you know, that one time where I get a one ounce bottle, I really like that perfume. And as you can see right here, I'm like almost halfway through. Longevity is not like outstanding or anything, but, and now I see my son is about to wake up. But you know, honestly, like lately when it comes to perfume, I don't want anything anymore that's uh, crazily, uh, like silly eyes were like crazy and where it makes me sick or nauseous. I've gotten really, really sensitive when it comes to perfumes. And this one is, does not give me a headache, does not make me nauseous. It's just really nice, soft, uh, cozy, feminine perfume. So I really like that. Since we're already talking about Armani, I want to mention Armani. Uh, my way this one I wore the other day uh, because like I live in North Carolina and it was like 73 degrees which is 22 uh, Celsius um, and it was so nice and this perfume perfect for spring I know we're just at the beginning of February I think today's the 11th of February and in most countries or most like um, if you live more up north uh, it's winter it's cold it's freezing outside you probably have snow but this one the, the trees are already blooming where I live everything is pink and it's like beautiful uh, but this is just so nice it's it's has like a sparkliness to it there's tuberose in there it's a very happy perfume and uh, spring is the perfect time to wear this perfume if you have this perfume you know what I'm talking about um, if you don't have it and you want a really nice happy spring perfume definitely check this out like I said it's it's a really it's a happy scent as soon as I smell it I feel like bubbly and happy and sparkly and spring and you want to wear your short sleeve shirt and you're just ready to go outside again and you over like the depressing cold winter month this is what that is uh, the um, longevity is good um, no problems there at all ciliage great the only thing which you know not really a problem but the um, the color of the perfume has changed it's supposed to be a pink perfume and obviously as you can see right here i don't know if it shows on camera but it's more like this yellowish um color uh, which you know kind of sucks uh, but you know scent is still really good um i do um have my perfumes in the bedroom but there's no light exposure like directly to the perfumes but yeah really nice perfume another great perfume for spring is prada paradox uh, this one is um the most uh, recent release from prada and you know prada they haven't come out with anything in years and then they came out with this and this is so nice oh my god this is so feminine and uh, to me this is a mixture between uh valentino donna born in roma and amani my way if they would you know if you would layer them or have their baby that would be it and it's just so girly it's feminine um if you're a teenager you can wear it if you're in your 40s and your 50s you can wear it again this is a very happy scent uh let me see if i can find the note because i don't know it off top right now 
So it's a white floral and you have a pear, tangerine, bergamot. In the mid you have orange blossom, neroli essence, neroli, jasmine, bourbon vanilla, amber, musk and benzoin. So you def I thought for a second I thought there's um what is it? Tuberose in there, but there's no tuberose listed. Uh, but you can definitely smell the vanilla, you get the neroli, the jasmine. This is so this is so nice. This is so nice. I I know it, it got a lot of hate. A lot of people say it's very average, but you know, honestly, I like I like crop pleasing perfumes. I don't like anything too uh, complex. And I really like it. This is the one ounce bottle. And yeah, great for spring and summer. Then what I also wore was uh, Coach Dreams. I've had this for uh, six months now at least. And I haven't worn it a lot. I've worn it maybe two or three times. And this one is so nice as well. This one is a close dupe to uh, Carolina Herrera Good Girl. So if you, you know, if you like Carolina Herrera Good Girl, uh, this one is a really affordable option right here. It's not uh, too, you can get it on discount websites. I got this actually when I was in Austria for 21 euros. Uh, for what is it 40 ml and 40 ml is like the perfect size it's not like a small bottle but it's not like you know it doesn't take you forever to go through great size I think uh, it looks uh, the bottle is really cute too longevity is really nice in this one and I spread it right at the camera great for a night out great for a night out let me see if I can find the notes for you guys so it's a citrusy vanilla perfume you have pear ice cream in the top then you have bergamot jasmine sambac magnolia tonka and vanilla which you know sounds delicious and uh, people on frantic as well say it's close to carolina herrera good girl or jimmy chu uh, i want chu dahlia by bath and body works so yeah those are in that same scent category and the longevity is really good too um for you know designer it's around but you know to be honest you know doesn't matter niche perfume they don't last forever either it always depends what kind of perfume it is it always depends like what the concentration of it is you get it really good longevity uh, around six to eight hours and then of course alien goddess intense I'm wearing this today oh my god this is just it is so nice I love this one this one was the best uh, purchase that I did in 2022, in my opinion, the best perfume release that was ever released within the last couple years. Longevity is great. It's like an ambery vanilla perfume. There's coconut in there, but you don't smell the coconut. At least I don't. Maybe for like a little bit. Um, you do get at the beginning, you do get a little bit of the alien DNA, but it does not last long. If you don't like the original alien, definitely give this one a chance. Uh, before it goes away because you know with uh, Terry Mugler you just don't know and the bottle is so pretty too um, it's like an ambery vanilla perfume which is like definitely my favorite scent category oh, so nice uh, in the dry down and with this one you do want to give it a little bit of time you know when you spray it initially you may not like it so definitely give it some time uh, let me Pull up the notes. So in the top you have coconut and uh, bergamot. Like I said, I don't really get the coconut. Mid you have jasmine, uh, jasmine tea, vanilla, benzoin, and cashmere wood. So you know nothing too complicated, but so so good. I love this one. The next one is from Shivanshi, and this one is Hot Couture. This is the Eau de Toilette, and I just love this perfume. Um, as you know, I have a lot of perfumes. I have around 90. Well, I did get rid of a bunch. I have around 75 maybe at this point. Um, I wear it a lot. I know it doesn't really show, but let me tell you guys, I love this perfume so much because it reminds me of the early 2000s. And sometimes I just wish I could go back to those times where everything was just like, you know, social media didn't really exist that much. I mean, you know, that's when MySpace kind of started. But, you know, the hills, Laguna Beach, OC, like, that was the time, and it takes me back to those days, and it's so nice. It has raspberry in there, it's like a fruity, smoky perfume, so it's, you know, it's a little bit of innocent, but that smokiness definitely gives it a little bit of that, you know, that little extra 
little oomph. Let me see, uh, let me pull up the notes. And as always, I have the notes here somewhere on the screen. So it's like a sweet, fruity perfume. In the top you have uh, bergamot, amalfi lemon, raspberry spices, big strawberry, magnolia, rose, tuberose, vetiver, amber, and musk. I've never tried the auto perfume version. I don't know if what the, the difference is, but this one is just so good. So good. If you like a little throwback, do yourself a favor and try this. And last, oops, <coughs> last but not least, um, this is from Afnan. This is 9 a.m. and they have um, different ones. This is a flanker of their 9 a.m. Um, line. And this one I got sent by Afnan. I did a review on some of the perfumes in my most recent video. And this is, um, <coughs> this is, um, hard to explain well it's not that hard to explain it's like a, a tropical scent but not like a coconut tiare flower tropical it's like a happy tropical scent in the dry down it reminds me of michael kors wonderlust people say it reminds them of uh, michael kors wonderlust what is it sensual or let me let me see if i can find it so it's considered to be an amber musky powdery perfume. In the top you have mandarin orange, bergamot, grapefruit. In the mid you have black currant, raspberry, musk, amber, and orange. And like I said, I've never seen a perfume that has orange in the base. But this one is so good and it's super affordable as well. And it's 100 ml. Bottle looks nice. Doesn't look cheap at all. And the cap is super heavy. It's super heavy. Um, so yeah, those were all the perfumes that I wore within the last two weeks, I would say. Yeah, let me know your scent of the day. And again, please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.